Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I will talk about ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a product of OpenAI. ChatGPT is a chatting bot. If you can ask any question, ChatGPT will give you the answer. So today's topic is how ChatGPT will help for software automation testing. So software automation testing, you need to write some code. If you ask any code to ChatGPT, ChatGPT will give you um, answer as writing a code. So let's say today's tutorial, I will ask ChatGPT write a code um, for Selenium Java uh, to invoke Firefox browser. So let's go to the computer screen. I will show you step by step process how to ask question to ChatGPT and you will get the code from ChatGPT and implement for that for software automation testing. So let's go to the computer screen. I will show you step by step process how to do that. Now I am at computer screen. So first you need to open any browser, then you need to navigate openai.com. Then scroll down to the page. Here you will see chat GPT. Click that chat GPT. So once you are in here, uh, in this page, then you need to click try chat GPT. Chat GPT will open in another window. Here is chat GPT where you will write the question and chat GPT will give you the answer. So I am already logged in to openai.com. That's why it is, it came to this page. Uh, but if you you need to create an account in openai.com, then you need to log in. So if you don't have account, then you you will have the option to create an account and then sign in. Once you are signed in over here, then you need to write a question over here. Now our last chat GPT, how to invoke. Uh, Firefox browser using Selenium Java. So let's ask the question to chat GPT, right? Selenium Java code for invoke Firefox browser. Then you need to hit enter or click over here. Now let's see chat GPT writing the answer. Here is the example of Java code uses Selenium to invoke Firefox browser. Chat GPT is the writing code. Let's see how it goes. So once it is completed, I'll copy from here and I'll take to the editor. Then I'll run. Let's see how it works. So Code writing is completed. Now it is giving us the suggestion. You need to download and set path of Gecko driver in your system and set the path of Gecko driver in code. You may also need to include Selenium library in your project class path in order to in order for this code to work. Okay. So first take the copy the code from here. Let's open Eclipse, Eclipse as editor. Already I created one uh, test test ng class i'll write i will paste the code over here and i'll try to run so paste over here whatever i don't need that i already created class so i don't need up to this already i have that delete that also i don't need these two curly brushes because i already did that now here is the um set path to firefox driver executable uh, code already written and it will close that so we need to set the path. Path is the local path where my Gecko driver is. My Gecko driver path is over here. I just download it and mention it is the location. So give that path to the code level. Once it is completed, then also here is a website. It is example.com. Let's say I'll put it google.com, google.com then it will quit the browser before quitting i will give uh, like wait time sample wait time thread dot sleep let's say 5000 millisecond it will wait then it will close the browser before closing i want to send a custom message that it will print to the console that Google home page displayed Firefox invoked with 
google home page so now we can save it and also we can try to run it let's see how it goes so there is no error in project level class level so right click run as test ng test so it is running let's see firefox browser already launched and let's see how it navigates it's taking little time yep it is navigating google it is already navigated google home page it will wait five seconds then it should be closed it is closed and also if you see console it is already custom message printed whatever i have written over here row to anyone it is already printed and it is passed the test cases this is the way chat gpt can help you writing software automation testing code i believe those who are new this will be very helpful for themselves not only new those already are working as a software automation tester they can ask many complex code to chat gpt and chat gpt can write for you and your work will be faster it is time consuming you can save a lot of time for writing code from scratch so that's all my today's tutorial for chat gpt writing software automation testing code i believe those who are new in software automation testing this video will be very helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video